Hey everyone, this is uh, West Virginia. Um, like I said the other day when I was out in the field, I finally got a camera, a a camera from uh, my good friend Harvey. I appreciate it, Harvey. Uh, my camera's still heading from California. It's not here yet. It's supposed to be here right at the end of the week, so hopefully I'll have it. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to go over some of the stuff because I need to start putting it away. It's April 14, 2014. I'm actually at work right now, so I might get interrupted, but uh, let's hope not. So I want to start over here. Um, this was a local hunt out in uh, Suffolk, Virginia. Just some um, wheat back pennies. I think the oldest one here is might be 1919, which is that one right there. 42, 25, and I can't tell. Got some Civil War bullets here, some pistol bullets, some buck and ball. A little cuff size button here. Harmonica. This actually might be a candle snuffer, uh, this colonial piece here. And this is, I think it's pretty cool because this is actually was on diggers um, not too long ago. It looks like a Henry casing. And I don't know what the U is, but they're shoved together. And uh, on that episode of um, diggers, they said that uh, the U.S. Cavalry would shove the shells together, the casings together to prevent the Indians or somebody from uh, reusing the material. So I don't know, but I've never seen it. Um, it was found on a very old site, but, <clears throat> you know, I don't think we have to worry about that in Suffolk, Virginia. So anyway, I don't know what this piece is. Uh, sounded real good, came up real good, but I don't know what it is. This site here, uh, this was actually in Surrey County, Army Corps of Engineer, like, I guess, collar button, World War II Great Seal button. This is pretty cool because it says Franklin, Virginia on it, which is a town pretty close to where I live. And then I found an Eagle Eye, nice coat button. This was found back in the woods at a colonial ice pit um, along the edge. And then here, this was found um, in eastern Virginia. I'm not going to give the county, but anyway, because this site's been really, really good. But uh, I got some flat buttons here. This is actually, when I cleaned it, I did a dry clean on it with a uh, toothpick to scrape off some of the... the uh, debris on it and it's actually a World War II, I mean World War II, War of 1812 artillery button, Army, you know, the Corps of um, Artillery. So there's the eagle on top and the cannonball. So that actually was a great find for just thinking it was a normal flat button. <clears throat> Here's a nice decorative flat button. Some pattern on it, the shanks broke. And then Looks like a tom back button that broke the shank. Here we got another flat button, an eagle cuff button, nice big shank button here. It says uh, Imperial Standard. And another maybe 1820 naval button. It's real nice. <clears throat> and this was found in Suffolk. So this pile here and this here, Suffolk. <clears throat> this was found at the 1801 house with the big locking mechanism, um, which was really cool. It sounded off really good. There's the key. Um, I don't know the year on this, but I can only think, you know, the house, you know, was, the construction was started in the 1790s. So um, this stuff here, uh, actually, I was digging around the kitchen site where the kitchen, the colonial kitchen was, and as I was pulling some of these relics out, all this pottery and stoneware, and this little ponds thing were actually in the hole. And here's some nice black glass. But uh, this is a clay marble. It's pretty cool. It's in the hole. Doorknob, lantern pieces, spoon, nice silver like sugar or ice utensil. You just squeezed together it's just missing this piece and it's got this script k on it which is the actual family who built the house with their last name was Carr with a k <clears throat> this is pretty cool here 
more rows. It's probably not that old, but it was mixed in there. And these three buttons here were all found together, clumped together just like that in the hole. So uh, I wish I had a camera, guys. I didn't have it, but I'm kind of upset about the whole deal with the camera not getting here on a timely manner. But they're all three the exact same, and they were all three in the same hole, which was very cool because you really don't find buttons in the same hole. This was found about a foot away. It's a navel button. Um, I've gotten some different opinions on the year. Some say this is very modern, and other people say that it goes back to 1860s, so for Civil War. Uh, I just don't know. The house site's old. These buttons were found literally like a foot apart. Here's a big coat button. You can see the pattern design around it. I haven't dry cleaned this yet, so I'm sure if I do, there's a lot of guilt on this. I don't know what this is. I can only think it's a furniture piece, a decorative furniture piece. So somebody wants to chime in. Pieces to harmonica reeds, the end pieces here and here. Just some brass piece, furniture tag probably, same as that. <clears throat> Chinese coin, which is pretty cool. Some spoons. Um, this piece is really awesome because this is the initials of the son. Um, his father actually built the house and this is the son. So his name was John Carr. And it is sterling silver. So this was really cool. The homeowner was very excited about this. This piece right here was really, really exciting to the current homeowner. Because it, it definitely is a provenance back to the actual owners. I don't know what this piece is. Couldn't begin to tell you. And over here, um, this was found in Surrey County on uh, a different farm than the other stuff over there um, but not too far away just kind of working my way down this particular road uh, I got this on film actually the the live dig so it's pretty cool some other stuff that I didn't show on the live dig was uh, this lead weight um, I don't know if I showed the, the this little buckle here I, I know I showed the oil lantern I know I showed the copper 1883 Indian head penny this is probably my favorite button of the day another navel 1812 to 1820 so that's a really good find that was awesome some more flat buttons one piece concave flat nice big tom back button nice decorative flower button I really don't know what this is it kind of broke when I pulled it out but uh, I thought it had a nice plate or buckle another iron buckle a marble some round balls um, we dug a lot of these I don't know what it is why old site 1656 um, but we dug several of these and broken pieces of these but this is my best one. The rest are missing this piece here. And I know Harvey dug quite a few. So if anybody knows what that is, um, that would help out a lot. A tent grommet. Probably a drawer handle. You know. So this was the better part of everything here in my last three or four digs. One dig, two digs, three, four, five, six. So six digs. These were pretty much the keepers. And uh, I do have to show some more stuff tomorrow. I apologize. It's like 10.26 and I'm at the fire station. Tomorrow I'll show, uh, I found a 1785 uh, Real, Spanish Real, and another large scent, a Drake Bust um, large scent, uh, 1801 I believe. And this one here is 1820. Braided. So, apologize for not having any footage in a while uh, live digs especially it's been a bummer but my camera is supposed to be here Wednesday so we can pick back up even though the season's kind of winding down for me um, hopefully we can you know get a few more in before the crops get put in but it, like I said it's it's really coming to an end fast it's been very nice here lately 
Also, um, if anybody knows what this piece is, let me know. Leave a message. I'll respond back. And I hope you enjoyed it all. And I uh, look forward to getting my new camera and getting out and showing you all some live digs. Thanks again, Western Virginia.